So for the nacho pie, you're gonna need a pound of hamburger, ground turkey, whatever you prefer to use. You're going to need one tube of crescent rolls, eight ounces of tomato sauce, Doritos, sour cream, cheese, and then a pack of taco seasoning. Now I'm doubling my recipe because I'm gonna put half up um, and then we're gonna eat half tonight. But um, it says to use a pie dish and this is not my recipe. I got this from um, one of Erin's friend's, friend's mom, <laughs> if that makes sense. But she said to use a pie dish, you can just use a nine by nine pan. So you're gonna start by cooking your meat and preheating your oven to 350 which is just what the crescent rolls cook to, okay? So for this step, what you're gonna do is lay out your crescent roll triangles and go ahead and kind of like pinch them together, flatten them out as much as you can, and cover the entire pan. Do not forget to spray the bottom of your pan with some nonstick spray, just in case um, you don't want it sticking. So definitely make sure you do that spray before you start this process. Okay, so once you've laid them out, you're basically just going to work with them until you get like this kind of dough. You know, you just kind of got to lay them out and push them together. Um, I usually have to use one and a half tubes for this big old pan here. But for the 9 by 9 pan, you'll only need one tube and then you'll have a couple to lay on top. The hamburger is just about done. What you're going to do is drain the grease off of this. All right, so once you have your meat draining, you're going to go ahead and pour in your tomato sauce and then your taco seasoning. And that's all you're going to put in here. Do not put water um, like it says on the back of the taco packet, okay? You're just going to mix this up. And then you're going to add in your hamburger. All right, so once you have that well mixed, you're just going to lay that over your um, bottom layer. Okay, and then after you even that out, you put on your cheddar cheese, shredded. And now you're going to take and you're going to crush up some Doritos and put a layer of Doritos. Okay, and then really that's all that you would need to do. What I like to do is just kind of add the little bit of extra that I have on top to kind of give it more of like a pie effect. Okay, so I just laid up the extra on there. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for 18 minutes and then it'll be done. I'll go ahead and put my recipe and then the original recipe in the description box along with the directions on how to make both styles. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.